Okay, so I'm back having done a few things that are worth noting. Um, so I did put the motherboard, or rather I should say the daughter board, back on where it belonged. And then, essentially, really just, um, there's a jumper cable you need to remove. It's right there. It says, it says jumper 89 and 90. And basically that is got to be removed. You have to do that. That's the one thing you have to do besides that chip upgrade I mentioned that has to be done before you can put the KDFX board on top of it. Um, so that's where I am with that. Also, the sampling card cables were disconnected from back here and in the digital I.O. and brought over, plugged into two ports over here on this. Now, one thing I'm finding very difficult about the manual is it doesn't, it doesn't I don't know, it seems like it's, it's not complete because it doesn't make reference to what I do with any of these cables that were provided with the kit. Now I understand that maybe some of them were extra for keyboard versions, maybe that are needed that are not needed for the rack version, but as you can see here, I don't have anything saying, there's nothing in the manual that I saw that tells me to plug in these two cables, which are part of that sort of VGA looking uh, KDS output. And then, same thing with this new digital I.O., which is an interesting point, I actually already had the digital I.O. card installed from I guess from the sampling option, but they do provide one, and I believe they are they, they they do explain that you do need to replace this. So just because you already have one in place, don't assume you need to just leave that one. You actually do want to install the one that came with the kit because it was it did specifically say to do that. Um, and so basically, yeah. So what I'm trying to figure out here is how do I, I you know I mean it's pretty obvious. It seems like that you know there are four pins, four pins. Uh, I see where all of them could hook up, but at the same time, I didn't see it from the manual, so I don't want to make the assumption, at least until getting some more confirmation from the community. So um, that's where I am right now. The other big challenge is they talk about some voltage uh, checks, which obviously are concerning because they're both vague. They make reference to uh, some stuff that I'm not clear on. I might have to check the service manual to find out more. But anyway, I'm kind of stuck on the voltages. I really don't want to obviously screw something up. Uh, so I need to get some more information on that. But other than that, it's uh, you know it's really not that bad a process. I think once these two voltages are checked, there's one. Um, well, I won't go into it in this video. But anyway, that's uh, this is basically where I am right now.